This biography video on Wilfredo Gomez is detailed and informative, capturing his remarkable career and personal life. It highlights his achievements, including his record-setting knockouts, multiple world championships, and his significant influence on the sport. The script also addresses his personal struggles and resilience, providing a well-rounded portrayal of the legendary boxer. This comprehensive narrative will engage your audience and provide them with a deep understanding of Gomez's legacy. Wilfredo Gomez Rivera was born on October 29, 1956, sometimes referred to as Bazooka Gomez, is a Puerto Rican former professional boxer and three-weight world champion. He is frequently mentioned among the best Puerto Rican boxers of all time by sports journalists and analysts, along with Felix Trinidad, Miguel Cotto, Wilfred Benitez, Esteban de Jesus, Edwin Rosario, and Carlos Ortiz. His 17 consecutive knockouts and championship defenses as a junior featherweight is a record for all boxing divisions. He was ranked number 13 on the Ring Magazine's list of the 100 Greatest Punchers of All Time. In 1995, Gomez was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Wilfredo Gomez stands at 5 feet 5 inches, 1.65 meters, tall. Wilfredo Gomez boasts an estimated net worth of about $1 million. Gomez has three daughters, Jennifer, who is Panamanian by birth, Gina and Liz Irina, Venezuelan by birth, and one son, Wilfredo Jr. He is good friends with Panamanian boxing legend Roberto Duran and former Puerto Rico boxing commissioner and boxing champion Victor Callejas. Gomez declared that fighting Harada was his idol as a child. Gomez is married to Carolina Gamboa. On April 17, 2015, Gomez was arrested by Puerto Rican police after allegedly hitting his 59-year-old companion, a lady with whom he had been living for 10 months. He was released after she refused to raise charges against him. British boxer Michael Gomez adapted his last name from Armstrong to Gomez as a homage to Wilfredo, who was his childhood idol. A biographical book about Gomez, written by author Christian Giudice and named A Fire Burns Within, was released May 9, 2016. Gomez was hospitalized on May 21, 2018 in Coupe, Puerto Rico, suffering from a pulmonary edema and pneumonia. On March of 2022, Gomez was rescued by his wife Carolina Gamboa, son Wilfredo Jr., and by friend, fellow former world boxing champion Victor Callejas, from his ex-lover, identified as Diana Sevilla Villalobos, who apparently was holding him hostage at his Venus Gardens, Coupe, San Juan, house. Gomez was taken to a psychiatric hospital. Gomez subsequently recovered and returned to his wife by choice. Wilfredo Gomez, also known as Bazooka, is a legendary Puerto Rican boxer known for his impressive career in the ring. While there isn't extensive information available about his philanthropic efforts, Gomez has been involved in various community activities and charitable events in Puerto Rico. His contributions have often focused on supporting youth and promoting sports as a means of positive development. Gomez's legacy extends beyond his boxing achievements, as he has inspired many young athletes in Puerto Rico and around the world. His story of rising from a challenging background to become a world champion serves as a powerful example of perseverance and dedication. After this inauspicious debut, he reeled off a streak of 32 consecutive knockouts including wins over Fuentes, who was dispatched in two rounds in a rematch, and future world champion Alberto de Vila, who lasted nine rounds before being defeated. His 32 consecutive knockouts place him in a third-place tie with Deontay Wilder and behind Lamar Clark, 44, and Billy Fox, 43, for the all-time knockout streak. Gomez's knockout streak caught the eye of the WBC and lineal super bantamweight champion Dong Kyun Yum of South Korea, who traveled to San Juan, Puerto Rico to defend his crown against Gomez. Yum had a promising start, dropping Gomez 30 seconds into the bout, but Gomez picked himself up and eventually won the crown, his first world title, with a 12th round knockout. His second defense took him to Tokyo, where he beat former world champion Royal Kobayashi in three rounds. Kobayashi had lasted five rounds versus Alexis Arguello. Next was Sagat Pechindi in a small city of Thailand. He lasted two rounds. Pechindi later became a world champion Thai and kickboxer and famous actor in Thailand. The bout with Pechindi was preceded by a large tragedy when a column collapsed inside the stadium before the evening's main event. Ten people lost their lives and an estimated 300 were injured, 
but the contest organizers nevertheless decided to continue with the day's boxing show. Gomez's streak reached 32 knockouts in a row, including what is generally considered to be his biggest victory ever, a five-round defeat of bantamweight champion Carlos Cerati, who was 55-0 with 54 knockout wins coming into their San Juan bout. Also included in that streak was future world champion Leo Cruz, beaten in 13 rounds at San Juan and Derek Holmes, knocked out in five rounds in a fight attended, among others, by Sylvester Stallone, Carl Weathers, and Alexis Arguello. After recording his 32nd knockout win in a row, he moved up in weight to face the world featherweight champion Salvador Sanchez of Mexico. He lost to Salvador Sanchez by 8th round TKO. He then retried winning the featherweight title and this time, he achieved his dream, winning his second world title by dethroning Juan Laporte, a fellow Puerto Rican who had won the title left vacant after Sanchez died. He beat Laporte by a 12-round unanimous decision. This time, however, he didn't enjoy a lengthy title reign. Ahead on all scorecards, Gomez was the victim of a rally by Azuma Nelson of Ghana who knocked him out in 11 rounds in San Juan, December 8, 1984. Gomez wanted either a rematch with Nelson or a shot at WBA and lineal junior lightweight world champion Rocky Lockridge of New Jersey, whichever came first. Lockridge was first to offer Gomez a try, and the two battled a closely scored 15-round bout in San Juan, with Gomez being given a majority 15-round decision, which many experts have said Lockridge deserved, but also which in the opinion of most who saw it live, was a justified decision. Around this time, he began a shortly-lived career as a boxing broadcaster. He specifically covered the Victor callejas loris Stecker rematch from Italy for Puerto Rico's WAPA TV, won by Callejas by sixth-round technical knockout, and some local matches involving Alberto Mercado and Juan Carrezo in Puerto Rico for Telewance. This reign also came to an end quick, Gomez being handed his third loss at the hands of young Alfredo Lane by knockout in nine rounds. Lane lost the title in his own first defense to South Africa's Brian Mitchell, and it became obvious Gomez's best years had gone by, so he retired after this fight. Gomez tried to come back in 1987 and 1989, but after winning two more bouts by knockout, he realized boxing wasn't in his heart anymore and retired for good. He later moved to Venezuela, where he ran into drug problems, causing him trouble with the law and spending some months in jail. He attended a rehabilitation center in Colombia. Gomez rebounded and is now back in Puerto Rico, where he has managed to stay off drugs. He helped Hector Camacho with the training of Camacho's son Hector Camacho Jr., who was a boxer in the junior welterweight division. In 1998, Gomez became a born-again Christian. On May 18, 2003, Gomez returned to Panama, where he was received by friends Roberto Duran and Eusebio Pedroza, among others. In a message geared towards Panamanians, he expressed thanks to that country, calling it his second country and saying, among other things, I'm very motivated now that I will return to Puerto Rico, and no one should be surprised if I buy an apartment in Panama and move my family here. However, he bought a house in Orlando, Florida in 2006. Gomez had a record of 44 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw, with 42 knockout wins and all 3 losses also by knockout. In 1978, he was named Boxing Illustrated's Fighter of the Year. He is now a member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Gomez was voted as the greatest super bantamweight ever in 2014 by the Houston Boxing Hall of Fame. The HBHOF is a voting body composed totally of current and former fighters. In 2003, a biographical film entitled Bazooka, the Battles of Wilfredo Gomez was produced by Cinemar Films. The documentary was directed by Mario Diaz and was filmed in New York City. Wilfredo Gomez, the legendary Puerto Rican boxer, has had a challenging time recently. He was found living in poor conditions at his home in the Venus Garden section of Coupe, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Authorities intervened after concerns were raised by his family and friends about his well-being. That's it for today's content. If you enjoyed it, Give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.